Okay, so um, we're here on the blank screen and we're going to put in a content editor and we're going to put in a table of contents. If you can't remember, uh, in the previous uh, video that you might have seen, uh, we're going to write some blurb down here uh, and we're going to put a table of contents in over here. And the reason we're going to do that, this bit here is going to uh, uh, introduce the department, its ethos, its staff, the courses offered, and uh, you know a little bit of stardust. Uh, and over here in the table of contents, we're going to put something in which will automatically display the tools and uh, repositories of documents, uh, which are called libraries, uh, and any other tools and things that we want to have uh, in a sort of quick list down this side here. Uh, and the reason for that is because this front page isn't going to get cluttered up with lots of pretty images. It's going to be a launch pad for greater things. So back to the page. Okay, here we are. So first thing we need to do, uh, you can do this one of two ways. You can click edit page or you can go to site actions and edit page there. It doesn't really matter. We'll edit page. Okay, when that happens and if you're working from home, it might take a bit longer to load up. Um, I sometimes have problems loading up from home simply because the communication between my computer and the server in school which is uh, receiving the instructions to add these bits to the VLE uh, are quite some distance apart and connected by the internet and that's not always that reliable. Okay so these are the parts, web parts. They are containers for displaying uh, interactive content we're going to make it uh, very exciting in the first one. We're going to add a web part. I'm going to click add a web part and uh, suddenly the screen changes. Uh, we have all of these lovely excitable uh, icons up here which you'll get used to. They look a bit intimidating right now but you will get used to them. Uh, just the same way that you got used to the ribbon in Microsoft Office. So uh, um, that's probably not the best thing to tell people. Okay. Well, down in the category called Media and Content, we have Content Editor. It's highlighted there, and uh, we can put the web part in the left, obviously in the left, because that's where we clicked. So I'm going to add that, and then I'm going to stare at this blue bar as it takes ages to load up. Oh, we're there. Much better than I thought. Okay, well, it's called the Content Editor, um, and we're still in edit mode. We know we're still in edit mode because it says, do you want to stop editing up here? Uh, so now we can do a few things. Uh, we can um, edit this web part, okay? Uh, if, if you do that, uh, it brings up a little content editor at the side here. Now, there's loads of little tools here, right? But the easiest thing, okay, is just to click on here and it says, what, what do you want to display in this blue bar? See this blue bar? Content editor? That's a bit dull. So I'm going to put science department in there. Or welcome, no, welcome to the science department, yes. Welcome to science. Um, and, and then uh, we can either apply that and leave this open. There it goes, the blue bar. Okay, um, or just click OK and, and the bar kind of disappears. Okay, uh, but now we've got to add some content, but it says click here to add content, so we're going to. Now we could start typing and say, uh, you know, you know, uh, hi there, you know, um, and, and whatever, but that's a bit, a bit naff. So um, down here in my little, wonderful little note taking application, I've got the, uh, the text from. Um, this, if you remember, science department, an introduction to the head of science. Okay, well, I've got that. I've copied it. Okay, so Bing, copy, up we go. And it's quite handy sometimes if you are going to be writing um, some content in a web, um, well, anywhere, not even just in SharePoint, but anywhere, um, it's actually best just to write it out somewhere else first, and then you can just copy and paste it. That said, okay, we'll just paste it all in. Okay, and well, actually, we don't need science departments anymore, uh, but we will have an introduction from the head of science. Uh, now, I'll, I'll leave that because the head of science will um, speak something about the uh, uh, speak, type something about the, uh, the ethos uh, of the science department. You know, our, our USP, why why we're different to everybody else, um, and a nice warm introduction. Because parents might see this and they want to see that their kids are going to have a nice time. So then, a list of staff. Okay, so we're, we're still in edit mode. Good. Okay, uh, so we're going to go edit. Okay, so a list of staff. Okay, uh, science staff. Okay, well, we have Mrs. Gillicuddy. Uh, uh, she's the head of science. 
and we have Miss Hessen, um, capital name, capital letter, the names Mr. Feather, um, Miss Hessen, and she's the lead uh, teacher for Key Stage 4, and then, uh, then me, I'm the lead teacher and uh, for Key Stage 3. And then we have Miss Williamson, and we have Miss Said, and we also have uh, Mr. Smith, who is the technician. And okay, so we can get rid of all of these, just delete those. Um, and then we can talk about the courses that we offer. Okay, so we offer the triple award uh, GCSE. Okay, we offer double award GCSE, and we offer BTEC Applied Science. And we have our own key stage three in house schemes of work. Um, now it's very 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 bare bones here, uh, and we will probably go back and and and, uh, you know, and sex this up a little bit into something a bit more punchy uh, and a bit more informative, and then a little bit of extra thing at the end. We can uh, you send your child to Sully Park, and uh, some sparkle dust will happen. So that is is basically it. Now I don't want it to be anything um, more than that because we're you know you're overigging a custard we haven't made yet, if that makes any sense. Okay, well that's that done. I'm happy with that. Now let's go and add, if you remember, the table of contents. So uh, let's go and do that. Table of contents, add web part. Okay, and I think, I think, I think, where are you? I think, I think you're here. Are you here? Table of contents, as I live and breathe, there it is. Table of contents, web part, and that's going to go in the right hand side. So we're going to add that there. Um, blue bar, let's cross. Excellent, there we go. At the moment, it doesn't look very exciting. It's just a simple list of libraries, SharePoint's word for uh, collections of um, media and documents, lists, discussions. But when we later make things like calendar, news announcements, um, databases for the technician to hold all of the inventories on, and, and all those other things that we talked about in the first video, well, they're going to happen down here. Okay. Um, now it looks a bit bare bones and it's not very exciting I suppose to look at so we, we really can sort of uh, make it look a lot more attractive later on but remember okay um, we've planned get your content in and then make it look pretty if you go for making things look pretty right now you're just going to waste time and uh, that's a commodity that none of us have in abundance enough to squander it making things look pretty so with that telling off okay uh, we'll sign out okay and whoops not quite yet we'll sign out and um, I'll see you when we get around to making some of the bits in a new video okay bye bye